Click the link in the description below to see the new merch on our website. Hello, Bidgets. My name's Frederick Chen, and today's a little bit of a different video. If you came here expecting me to ruin my hair, don't worry, I'm doing that in two weeks. But this video is kind of special to me. It's my 200 video, and I had no idea I was reaching that until someone tweeted at me. And I thought it'd be more appropriate if I made a video that's more sentimental. I'm not really the sentimental type. I usually like suffering on YouTube more. And that's gonna happen today because we're going to be looking at my old videos on YouTube. And I mean old, because I've done this for five years now four i'm losing track of time it's already summer break i don't know where i am currently this is my channel i'm almost at 600,000 subscribers which is so much more than what i expected i don't think anyone goes back to these old videos well 25,000 of you have done the first video i think it's because i talk about it so much because it's that terrible i don't think a lot of people realize that i have a lot of videos i mean this was uploaded four years ago and there's a lot to go through before you start seeing like the videos that i actually liked and there's no point in reacting to those videos because i don't hate them yet so we might as well do the ones from far back all right i have not watched this in <laughs> In a while, you'll see why. <gasps> it's monetized, what we love. Hey guys, my name is Frederick Chen, and from my first video, I thought I should tell you guys. <laughs> Some people try to tell me my voice hasn't changed since then. I, bullshit. My voice is so much deeper, and I'm so glad I went through puberty because, oh my God, this is ninth grade in my old bedroom before I moved to New Jersey. Cringy is an understatement. Oh, look at me, I already have my social links. I thought I should tell you guys some things about me. <laughs> the music! <laughs> this is before I learned about color correction, but the reason why I'm so orange is because my only lighting was this lamp in front of me. And it's like that crappy yellow light that everyone has in their room. And I thought it'd be a good idea. I thought it made me look tan. I'm too lazy to do 50. And what? This? <laughs> I said, I'm not putting the work into this video. I literally thought I would go viral from this. That's how delusional I was four years ago. I mean, I'm even more delusional now, but damn. Frederick was on some shit. My eyebrows are also questionable. Guys, the eyebrows. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. So a fair amount of people ask me why I started YouTube in the first place. I've always liked YouTube. I've watched Jenna Marbles and everyone since they were OGs. I even had a Minecraft channel before this, but the reason why I started making my own YouTube channel was because my parents told me we were moving to New Jersey and I used to live in South Carolina. And ninth grade Frederick was so convinced that he could make enough money within three months to prevent our house from being sold and everyone can stay in the same house. I literally thought I could make enough money for the whole family. It was a cute idea at the time, but it obviously didn't work out. I've never won a game of Monopoly. Yeah, why? What, what was I think? Why did I say that? Broken a bone. So, it's the next day. <laughs> My camera was so bad. My camera couldn't record more than 11 minutes and I only found out about that when I started making this video. So I probably talked my ass off for a whole hour without realizing it, so we have a cut. And this lighting is better than the last one, honestly. I can't watch this anymore. I can't, I can't torture myself. I was also trying to figure out my aesthetic at the time. I wanted to figure out how to make these thumbnails cohesive. So I went through a lot of different stages before settling on this one for a while. Ooh, look at, ooh, Frederick had stories. Wait, I wanna know. Okay, before I start, please excuse this lighting because it's really bad right now. Please excuse my hair, because it's really bad. <laughs> Let's face it, all our parents piss us off at some point in their lives, but they can also get really, really, really... <laughs> no, no! <laughs> I'm feeling like so much secondhand embarrassment right now, because this is so meta. I have a rule and stated in this household, and whenever I'm around my friends, you were not allowed to play one of my videos in front of me. Maybe my newer ones, but these ones, oh, absolutely not. My parents know me every day of my life, so I have some experience with them. Uh, Jesus, Frederick, you're so angsty. Oh my God, look at that. I was already DIYing at the time. That was a wooden F that I painted a piano on. Here are some of the things that your parents do that piss you off. When they yell- What's the point of the black screen? Look at this comment. Oh my God, Frederick, I love you. You're so relatable and funny. Bitch, not this video. No, ma'am, no, 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 no. Oh, I think this is when I got 100 subscribers, right? 100 life lessons, part one. <laughs> Guys, 100 subscribers, that's dot, 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 amazing. I never thought this would skyrocket so fast in just three months, but thank you for helping me through everything. Let's shoot for 1,000 subs next. Hope you enjoy this video because it's a good one. Shut up. Ooh! <laughs> I thought I was such a good editor already. To be fair, this is Windows Movie Maker. Give me a break. I can't work with a lot. We'll see. What does Frederick have to say? Obviously, that's a big milestone, but I never got it. The voice? It's very high frequency. Could you just lower it down by 20 hertz, please? From my own personal experience, and this is 
What personal experience, bitch? What have you gone through? At this point, I only had a month before I moved and I also came out to my parents around this time. So you do was my escape. Obviously my parents come from a very conservative background and it took them a while to understand my sexuality. They eventually came around, don't worry about it. But it's just weird to see myself because I can see the insecurities in myself, but I don't really think anyone else can. Like if I didn't tell you I was in the middle of moving, I was about to lose all my friends and I hated my family because they hated me. Would you believe it? Like I don't see it on the screen. By the way, my thumbnails, terrible. <laughs> oh, I really hate it. Uh, but this was the gap that I took. The first video I made when I moved was homophobic, racist, sexist camper. That got demonetized by the way. So while I was at Frisbee Camp- I'm very tan. That's because of Frisbee Camp. This is the apartment I used to live in and it had really good lighting, had a window right in front of it. But I also took a flashlight and put it in front of my face sometimes. And I never thought I'd meet someone who was just so stupid and arrogant, but I did. So the first day when I- <laughs> Frederick was a savage. Obviously homophobic and racist and sexist are not a good mixture, but I did not have to make a whole video about it. I just thought it'd be like funny at the time. We're all immature. Like he was a freshman. I'm sure he's a better person now. There's a trend in these older videos where I only do like rants and very angsty videos. It's cause I had a lot of built up anger inside of me. And obviously that you have to get it out in some way. And YouTube was my only way at the time. Not the most healthy mindset, but you guys asked me like, would you still make these rant videos today? No, I don't have a reason to. I'm not angry anymore. I don't have like angst inside of me. I just have a bunch of scars from painting. Like, look at this. Why I hate flying, traveling with parents. These are all rants. Ranting about school, kitchen dares. Totally plagiarized Emma Blackery, by the way. Well, well, well. <laughs> That's... <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, Frederick, you're so sly. Yeah, totally didn't see the camera. Totally didn't set it up like that. Again. No! <gasps> no! I did not do that. I did not do that. I blocked out all these memories, guys. This was a dark time. We meet again in a fucking piece of salmon. What? <laughs> Cinnamon challenge. It's like strawberry milk. It's not bad. What? Gatorade, tomato sauce, coconut water, and cough syrup? Strawberry milk? I think my taste buds were off back then too. Oh my God, no, 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 no. No wonder my acne was so bad back then. This is what the shit I put on my face. Full face of makeup using only food products. The videos I used to make were just trying to like fit the YouTube algorithm. I thought people just wanted to see these videos. I didn't really figure out what I wanted to do with YouTube yet. Now I have. Oh, see, now I finally made my 50 things about me. We, me, again. Oh, that was my intro back then. That's so weird. Why would I say that? I am currently 15 years old, believe it or not. 15? I identify as a homosexual, and if you don't like that, get off. Whoa, 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 that transition? That preset, though. Off my rainbow and Levita kiss my ass. If you don't like that, get off my rainbow and Levita kiss my ass. What's Levita? Oh yeah, I went through a grayscale phase. You know, Frederick was emotional, Frederick was depressed, and he decided to wear only gray colors for like three months straight. My style was questionable at the time too. Worst English teacher ever. Oh. We meet again and- Please stop saying it, Frederick. You guys are probably sick of my intro. <laughs> Probably. By the title of this video, you can probably tell that this is going to- You can see my mustache. ...to be a big rant. I do not get mad very often anymore. Liar! Oh my god, you're such a liar. The string lights, dude, I still have those. I am positive that she is a good person, her morals are good, but her teaching skills are absolute trash. Okay, at least I stated that she's a good person. I, this was such a risky video to make because I was literally still in class with her. Like, I could have been expelled probably. I, I was so lucky. Oh, 1,000 subscribers. Just know that I am not going to be editing this video at all. I am not going to edit this at all because I am a lazy bitch. <laughs> this was a weird trend on my channel. I would always multiply my subscriber amount by 10 every year. I had 1,000 by the end of 2016, 10,000 by the end of 2017, and then 100,000 by the end of 2018. Was coming to terms with myself and basically that was the summer after eighth grade, I didn't go through depression. I just went through a serious time. Liar. My therapist confirmed I did go through it. I was a very honest person. I don't really like hiding stuff on the internet. I've always wanted to just be myself. So I did talk about like my parents not accepting me and having to move and the people who did subscribe at the time, I don't know if you still are, but they understood what I went through. But you can definitely see how much I've changed since my old videos. Like I'm not that insecure anymore about myself. If anything, I'm delusionally confident, arrogant, and conceited. But I also thought I was a lazy person back then in terms 
terms of editing, like I don't feel like I put a lot of effort in these videos. I compare myself to a lot of YouTubers still to this day. And I always thought I didn't deserve any of the views or any of the love that I got because I didn't put work into them. Like this video for 2000 subscribers was 35 seconds long and it's just me putting hot water in a panda cup. Why did I even get views for this? But I would always beat myself down saying you're not good enough. You're never gonna gain a following on YouTube. Like stop trying. But this was also the only thing I could do because it was a whole summer of doing nothing. Dying my hair for the first time. So that's when I went crazy. Y'all thought my hair was green last week? No, this is green. The hairstylist just bleached it and then toned it without putting red in the dye. So I had green hair at the end and it cost me $100 and my parents got really mad at me. Oh, I did react to my first video. See, like this is the thing. I didn't put effort, I feel like. I made a whole video reacting to one video. These videos were also under like five minutes long because I, I don't know why. My videos are so much longer now and I can't imagine editing it down to six minutes only. Just proves I just talk a lot. Oh, I love this video. This was one of my favorite videos I've ever made. My acne. When you guys say, Frederick, you have perfect skin, just look back at this video. I still love this video. I don't know why more people didn't like it. This was during the full face challenge, obviously. Guys, go watch it. Give it some love. I love that when I shave my friend's head. Also, do you see how I changed my aesthetic again? Use the fucking bubblegum font. Dyeing my hair again, of course. This was when I went through my purple phase on YouTube. I was like, I love looking like an alien on YouTube. I actually thought I looked cute with a purple tint over my face. Oh, that was my other intro at the time. This video is kind of controversial. It was supposed to be lighthearted and just a way to rant because I thought middle schoolers were cringy at the time. And you know what? Every middle schooler is cringy and I was that too. Take a look at my old videos as proof. I guess I hated it at the time because it has, <laughs> has 1.6 thousand dislikes and I know it's because I probably offended the people I talked about. But also it was just a hateful video. Like you don't have to make videos targeting an audience to feel better about yourself, it's not required. I'll keep the video up. I don't feel like deleting any of these videos because I think it shows how much I've grown as a person. Like every middle schooler is cringy, Frederick, of course. But you can't get mad at them. Just let them do their thing. I made another rant about people I hate. <laughs> the keyboard tapping, that's me actually tapping and recording the sound. I fucking hate that voice. No one will notice it. It'll be so warm on the inside. Like <laughs> I actually really like this video, but it's totally inspired from General Marbles. You guys are right. This is when the sarcasm really started going up. Fruity Poppin' copycat video. Hey y'all, I'm Frank the Farmer, and welcome back. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is cut off the top of this pumpkin, because we gotta get inside the innards. And remember... <sighs> I mean, it's funny in its own way, but like, come on. <laughs> the whole idea is that I had a cousin named Farmer Frank and we were secretly dating because in the South, it's the joke that everyone dates each other, even though you're family. And I thought it was funny. My apology to the K-pop video I made. How many of you guys remember this video? For all of you who don't understand where this video is coming from, let me tell you what happened today. I'm not gonna let him speak, I'm gonna let me speak now. For those of you who don't know, I did make a video called Why I Hate K-Pop, and it was just like another one of my rants. And it was supposed to be satirical because it had a lot of sarcasm in it. The main reason I did it was because a lot of people would ask me, Frederick, why don't you like K-Pop? Or Frederick, are you Korean? Do you like K-Pop? And it was so overwhelming because I didn't want people to follow me for the sake of me looking Korean or acting Korean or trying to pass as a K-pop star. I didn't want my audience to just like me for the way I look. Like, you guys know that. I hate being objectified. So I made this video and I said I didn't like K-pop because at the time I didn't like listening to music that wasn't English, but I can handle it now. So that already shows I've, I've changed a lot. And then the most offensive thing I said was everything in Korean music is just ching chong, ching chong. And that should not be said on the internet. Like it's a dark joke that you would say to your friends and like in a group. And believe me, that joke is used at NYU every goddamn day because 60% of us are Asian. And I thought it would be okay because I thought everyone would understand my sarcasm, but then the video kind of blew up. And then a K-pop account on Twitter exposed me and she said imagine being racist towards Asians when you're Asian yourself or something along those lines and it hurt because I didn't want to be racist towards Asians I thought that was so counterproductive to what the point of my channel is now but it did upset me a lot at the time and that is why I'm really scared of the community <laughs> I like k-pop songs now but like I'm scared to like it still because I'm afraid that people will be like what about that video you made three years ago where you said ching chong ching chong? What about that, Frederick? And it wasn't like everyone hated it. It was like half and half. But I think the most important thing about being a YouTuber and what I do love about my community and you guys is that you let me grow as a person. Like I've changed so much through these years and I would be lying if I said, 
guys, I'm never gonna change for you. I'm gonna be the same person as always. If a YouTuber says that in their videos, they're fucking lying and you shouldn't believe them. I think it's so wrong to say you're never gonna change because that's not how you grow as a person. Maybe I have an immature personality on YouTube, but I'm an immature person. But it doesn't mean I don't know right from wrong. Like I'll admit, in eighth grade, I used to call people gay because I didn't want people to associate me with gay. I became the person I hated. Like I would bully people for being gay when I was just closeted. I was literally a bad Netflix movie. But thank you guys for letting me grow as a person. I really do appreciate it. And the person who did make that K-pop tweet did take it down after I asked. So like, they were also very understanding of it too. This was my first viral video that got to a million views. It's so out of tune. Listen, I never said I was a good violin player. This is what started it all. It helped me try to become more passionate about YouTube and it made me like have hope that I could do this as my career. And the lighting is still awful after two years, even with a ring light. I don't know what I'm thinking. You know, I read books, played games, hung out with guys, called everything gay, even though I had no idea what that meant because I wanted to act cool. At the end of the day, I knew I wasn't like the other guys. The cut! Oh, I tried to do it in one cut and it didn't work. This was my final project for junior year English. I don't know what the prompt was, but it happened to be my 100th video, and I think that's very, very nice. I love this video, and it made my teacher cry, and then she played in front of like all her other classes, and I was like, please don't let them know I do YouTube. I had 35,000 at this time. I was a baby. I always wondered why I never had more dislikes on my videos. You guys are just so supportive, and it just like, I'm not crying. I took a little break here because I went through a breakup and it was not fun. It was the worst breakup I ever went through. I took two breaks here actually. I took a break after my Discord server. I deleted it because it was um, pushing on my mental health. It put me through a lot of shit and then I came back and then I got broken up with right after, which was like the worst timing. I think this was the closest I was to crying. This video is not gonna be edited at all because- Lazy. See how I couldn't look at the camera? Because I knew if I did, I would cry. I guess that's another reason I don't look at these videos is because I just see someone totally different. Farmer Frank, get the fuck out. Oh my God. This is when senior year started. I had a lot of vlogs. This was another viral video. Started to lose my mind. And this is when I started getting into uh, paint. this hair makes me look five years younger. You sure it's the hair? This video started my passion for painting and I'm really glad it did. I love you guys and everything is less than three. You guys still don't know what that outro means. It makes a heart. And the whole reason I started saying it was because when I was moving, I had a math teacher who was not only my friend, my coach, my teacher, but like a therapist too. So I made a funny quote and I was like, if there's anything I learned from your class, it's that everything is less than three. And it was like a mantra. It became like the thing I said all the time to make me feel better. But half of the people here don't understand what it means. <laughs> I'm still not proud of these videos because one, I'm still fucking purple. This one's kind of fun though. Oh, you wanted to know what a high schooler's Christmas is like? Well, let me show on the first day of Christmas my high school gave to me another year of endless suffering. <laughs> I love this video. I think I reached 100K around this point and I said, yeah, this was it. This is when I started my merch. And I promised you guys a singing video and that was it. And this one is also here, but I will never look at that video again because I don't think I can sing. Piano medley, getting into college, throwing a fit about it. Hi, hi, bitches. My name is- This is what happens when you're lazy and you don't go through the beginning of your videos twice. You miss these edits. Like, that's so annoying. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, just- so Some people ask, like, why my I change my name every video. It was an inside joke because a lot of people couldn't spell my name. And then they started purposely misspelling it to the point where it was, like, refrigerator, uh, freeze-dried ice. Like, I just- crazy things that started with F. It was funny, but like now I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel like doing it. Some of you guys didn't understand the point of this video. You were like, why would you Photoshop yourself? You looked perfect before. Bitch, that was the whole point of the video is to show that you don't need Photoshop. And this was Pride Month. All these before and after Pride Parade videos. Now I wouldn't make a video that has the word gay in it or just like is centered around sexuality. Unless it's informative, of course, but I think at this point I wanted to become more of a well-rounded person instead of like being known for one thing. Like I didn't want to be the gay YouTuber. I didn't want to be the painter. I just had to be Frederick online. And that's something I'd still talk about to this day. You know, people compare me to the K-pop people and like other Asians and even like people who aren't Asian. Korean, Chinese, and Japanese aren't the only cultures in Asia, but I still debate whether or not people like me for how I look or do they come just for the piano videos or just for the painting videos, etc. And yeah, there's always gonna be that one person who like only watches the piano videos I make, but sometimes I feel like I wouldn't 
be known for me. I would just be known for resembling someone else or like acting like someone else. Like me being Eugene's son, that's a funny joke. Like I got it. That's an inside joke we've had for years. But I still don't like being compared to every popular Asian because it would just make me insecure and feel like I'm not worth enough. Unique enough, I'm not my own person. Take it however you want. After this video, I started liking the videos I made. Maybe not that one. Maybe not that one, actually. I think I've tortured myself enough, but thank you guys for going on this journey with me. I still don't know where I'm going in life and having your support means a lot. I'll always feel like I don't thank you guys enough, but just know every day I'm thankful for you. And if you've stuck around since the beginning of those videos, thank you for putting up with me because those videos were shit. So I'm glad I can improve the content for you guys. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below or subscribe for more videos every week. Turn on my notifications, social medias are right here. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. I'm gonna go rinse my eyes out now.